Hi, welcome back to the Huckleberry Highway Homestead. Uh, sorry for the hiatus. We've been a little MIA. Um, unfortunately, had to leave town for a funeral. Um, we've also slowed down, obviously. You can see why, all the white stuff behind me. Uh, so we are starting to do some planning and move into some of the next phase here. Um, you probably did see, or will show you my uh, drywall pickup um, excursion, if you will, adventure. Uh, so we'll, sh we'll insert that here for you guys to see. Um, but long story short, got some sheetrock up here and working on uh, going to start hanging that. So stay tuned. That's kind of the next big project. All right. Well, welcome back and uh, hope you enjoy. Coming to you from a pickup. And Greta's here too. Say hi, Greta. She was just whining like two seconds ago. Um, anyway, we are headed to pick up uh, my trailer or a trailer that I'm borrowing from Josh. Josh made an appearance in the window install. Um, for those of you that don't uh, remember that, go check that video out. Uh, so, anyway, I'm borrowing an enclosed trailer from him that he's got and we are uh, gonna, I'm gonna go pick up some sheetrock, and that way we've got a place um, out of the out of the way that. What? What are you whining about? Uh, we've got a place out of the way um, that's dry and out of the snow because we're gonna start hanging sheetrock. Just slowly putting you know a sheet here, sheet there, um, and hopefully by the end of winter we can have a good chunk not all the sheetrock hung um, or at least at least the main sheets so that's what the plan is today um, so I'm running into town to do that and I gotta run some other errands so we'll get all that stuff done and maybe take Greta to the dog park while we're in town just get her some exercise and some exposure uh, this is her first time riding in the kennel in my pickup it barely fits in here as you can see uh, it's pretty nice again today. It's almost 40 degrees. That's why I figured we'll try to get this trailer hauled up the mountain while there's not too terrible amount of snow. So hopefully that works. It's not too icy to do that. So anyway, we'll check back with you um, later. Hey guys, checking back with you. Just picked up my sheetrock. It is heavy. So, uh, got my errands run and then picked this up. So, thank you to the guys at Lowe's. You guys are awesome for uh, helping me out load this because it is freaking heavy. So, we are going to head back now and hopefully get this trailer up the hill, park it, be ready to start doing some drywall. So, kind of game plan is to do just one sheet at a time, pull it out, cut it, hang it. So keep it all stored in this little guy until um, we're done. So, Alrighty, well, heading home time. Greta came along and she's been pretty good most of the time. Got a little excited in lows, but um, all in all, she's been doing pretty good too. So see if we can't get this stuff home and up the hill. All right, well, the saga of uh, getting this drywall up the hill. <laughs> Uh, didn't film while I was trying to get out, but I uh, got stuck, jackknifed across the road, slick in the spot, in this one spot, and I just had so much weight. So luckily my neighbor, shout out to Paul, came and uh, gave me a hand with his skid steer and we got the pickup out, moved the trailer down the hill a little bit. And then uh, we're able to get uh, get it up. I'm heading up the road right now. I'm almost home. I put I had to chain up the pickup, of course. Uh, I've got nearly two tons of drywall, so it's been an adventure the last uh, two and a half hours or so. So. Pulling in my driveway now. And we made it. Uh, 
Luckily, this is sort of a hopefully a one-time trip for the season. Give me enough to do over the winter time to have most of my drywall hung. Um, so I'm gonna get this trailer dropped off, and we'll go from there. Anyway, it's been a saga. I'm exhausted, cold. Luckily, it's like 45 degrees. It's very windy though. And the sun and the wind just iced some spots over on that road. Oh man, it was bad. No problem with the pickup by itself, but with this much weight, eugh. So, anyway, I will update you guys um, on the next part of this whole thing. partner mess we're obviously doing a bunch of work while also living here so i'll try not to show them the mess i'll just zoom in on you right. <laughs> well we here's our... greta <laughs> in our She's puppy like, gate here on? that's why part of the reason why we're like we need to get this wall done asap so she can't escape through the walls and we can get a door so if you kind of look up here i just put that piece and hopefully it doesn't fall um because the partition wall of this is a, uh, hold on, let me do this real quick. <laughs> yeah, get, screw those. the there's that ex, in, uh, existing framing of this uh, st roof structure those are double two by fours on end which and then these walls that I did these partition walls are are this partition wall I guess you could say and sort of what we turned into partition walls are two by four walls but they're on, on they're flat. So the difference is half inch in width and for drywall purposes we need that to be flush so it actually kind of worked out is that I have a bunch of scrap OSB half inch that we used for the um, sheathing and Greta's checking out. Greta no. Checking out the uh, OSB. She's chewing on it. She's chewing it, but um, so I'm packed. Basically, it's called packing out. Um, so in case you were like, "Why is he cutting OSB?" That's not sheetrock. You're not wrong. It's not sheetrock. Um, but it is packing so that we'll have a flat surface to go across. So um, that this surface down to here, this is a lip, obviously, but for the framing. But this will be flat to this, and you can see how that did that already um, so where I have to pack out still I just did this one kind of piece here is cutting scraps is along the top here all along down to the floor and on this side um, just from this corner down because we're gonna wrap stay tuned for another project probably not for a little while yet but we're gonna wrap these beams here with like wood and leave that open so I'm not going to be doing it there. I will have to trim that metal and stuff to do the wrapping. But um, so from these corners down, just on this inside little bedroom area. So I did all the framing um, so that just this room would have to be packed out. So I did everything to this side. So anyway, um, yeah, I've got kind of these ends. I've got some pieces cut here um, all the way down to the to the floor there and a couple little odds and ends. So that's kind of the, the thing today is hopefully get that done. Greta doesn't need all my wood. No. Say hi. She's probably doubled in weight since you guys saw her single. last. She's a construction dog, aren't you? Eating the OSB. <laughs> Yummy. All right. So anyway, yeah, we'll uh, check back with you. All right. Finished the packing job. Uh, I'll show you kind of a little overview of it. Uh, this is our 
pocket door of dog toys. But you can see there, just that OSB strips, and then all the way up there. So I did this whole wall wherever it needed it, and then this corner, and then the opposite corner. Up here, you'll see that there is none, and the reason, again, for that is we're going to wrap all this wood, cut that metal, and wrap it with a nice wood and leave that open for airflow and light and stuff. So, well, that's it. I'm going to go cut some 2 by 4s for the next phase of things and uh, call it good. Well, good morning. Next day, um, <clears throat> I'm out here after some more snow. I got another like three inches last night, as you can see. So here I've plowed to before. So this, about here, that's what's not melted so far this year. And I'd say there's the ground. I'd say it's about 18 inches or so. Um, but we've also gotten, we got back in October, we had like 16 or 18 inches that melted away, obviously. And then, uh, there's been some warm days and a lot of this has settled. So my estimate's somewhere around three and a half to four feet of, uh, snowfall so far, uh, this season. And it's only the end of January. So, but we got three inches of fluffy stuff last night. Um, <clears throat> I got uh, that packing done this week inside, and then um, I cut the braces, a couple of odds and ends, pieces of framing yesterday. Haven't installed all that, um, but got them cut. But today, before I get going uh, into the next stuff, which is I'm going to try to hang a couple of small pieces of sheetrock um, that I have to cut and then hang. Try to get that done today see how far we get actually um, but before I do that I need to clear some snow so that I can kind of walk to the trailer and up here without getting a bunch of snow um, in my shoes and uh, yeah so I also um, Megan has COVID despite being vaccinated um, read into that what you will uh, but <clears throat> because of that my work is uh, not letting me come back for a couple extra days, so I have two extra days off um, at least so far. So I'm gonna you take that, take advantage of that, and get some uh, some sheetrock hung. Hopefully this week. Uh, my goal is to have all the sheetrock that I currently have up here hung by uh, March, so like in the next month or so. I think it's a doable thing. Um, we'll just have to see. So if I can get that done, that'll be a huge thing. Uh, I can then hopefully take some time and pick up the last sheetrock that I need uh, for the bathroom, which is like a mold resistant stuff. <clears throat> I don't have any of that up here. Right now it's just the main walls, uh, ceiling, um, in the front area, and then that partition wall, and then that closet. So anyway, I'm gonna get to, to uh, doing some plowing. I'll take you along for the ride. Tell me, do the seasons change? In your mind, coming in with the rain. Tell me, does it feel?
sheet on my plot uh, sawhorses. The optimal way to do this is to actually probably to uh, have this stuff inside and sand it on end. You know you have all your material inside. Um, obviously I'm just constrained because we're living in there and I'm trying to do this while we're there so um, not gonna work. So I'm just I'm doing this very slowly um, hanging sheets as I can hopefully over the next month uh, I'll be done. So anyway um, so, a couple tools while I'm here. Uh, this is a drywall T-square. It's long enough to go all the way down the sheet. I talked about my knife, this Ulfa. It's got a nice little replace. These are like snap-off blades. And I got some extras too. Um, that's just for cutting. Um, a good tape. Uh, I really like this Milwaukee one. It's my best tape. My other ones are just kind of they're okay for shorter things, but not great. Pencil, um, that's pretty much it for cutting. Basically, you cut through the paper on this one side, snap it, and then go underneath and cut the, the other side off. Um, and that gets your, your piece size. So, um, for these, these, this side, that's how I'm going to do it. I think for the length ones, because these are eight foot sheets that I'm going to do, I'm going to use a chalk line and I'm just going to me take my measurements of how wide the piece needs to be, snap it, and then do the same thing, um, cut it, and then uh, snap it off, cut it from the back. But I'm trying to, I want to get this sheet um, trimmed off, so I need a 92 inch long for these shorter pieces. Luckily, I do also have some extra drywall for uh, for mistakes, which are likely bound to happen. Knowing me, I'm far from a professional. So the other nice thing, so I'm hanging the ceiling first. Um, the the biggest thing, um, or one of the nice things, I guess, is you get the ceiling up and you have a gap on the end your next piece of drywall on the walls is going to cover that little gap and kind of as long as it's not too big where you're you know I guess you could theoretically slide it up underneath behind it but so the ceiling will be there and then the this wall will come up and then that little gap will basically be covered um, so you have a little bit of leeway to play with um, let's see so yeah mark it Got the old T-square. You probably don't need to actually like pencil this. But I'm going to um, just to help myself. And then take the knife. It'd be easier if you were standing doing this down as opposed to the other nice thing about doing drywall stuff I've done some but is that it's not it's pretty forgiving because it's just drywall you can cover when you get to mudding and stuff you can fix imperfections That's cut. Let's see if I can. Oop, sorry. You okay? You make it? One of the 
downside to trying to do this while uh, just run it again. So thing thing on this drywall is just uh, it's paper on both sides and then um, gypsum powder that's been solidified in between. So oh sorry again. Might move you guys to a more stable platform here. Hopefully you can still see me, hear me. I'm using 5 8 drywall. Your normal stuff is half, half inch. This is 5 8 uh, Here's the inside, if you have never seen that before. Um, the reason I'm doing that is this is like a higher fire rating drywall. When you're doing an upstairs, like garage apartment, like what we have, it's not a bad idea. In some places might actually be code to do that um, so that's why I'm doing it it's also better soundproofing which is important we got a metal roof snow slides off you hear the crash da 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 so hopefully that'll help um, it's better structurally it's just thicker so it's definitely heavier but uh, I think that uh, it'll be a pretty solid way to go um, again the fire rating is a big piece so that's why I'm doing this. It's also known as Type X drywall, fire guard. So anyway, yeah, there's a piece of cut right there. Um, the big thing too that I've learned is you don't, you're not trying to cut all the way through because if you get your knife down into that gypsum, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna dull your blade. You don't need to because once you have that score mark and you snap the piece, um, and then trim off the paper on the back. I mean, that's all you need to do. So it's really not terribly hard At least on these the, the pieces on the end so like Now I'm going to I have some Pieces that are I'll go check my measurements, but some short pieces I have four of those to go up in the eave and then from there the next piece I'll just trim like this I'll be able to hang the whole thing um, <clears throat> so just have a couple pieces to trim at least for this initial run um, so my, my goal like I said maybe before is I'm hoping to get these short pieces in the eave hung in two of the bays upstairs and then maybe if we can depends how Megan's feeling because I'll definitely need her help is to get some full length sheets up um, where we can Try not to do too much like trim work stuff today if I don't have to, but if we have to, we have to. There's a couple lights. We don't have a ton of stuff to have to trim around, but we do have some. So, next piece. Yeah, again, the, this is huge for those when you're trimming these like this. Uh, this next one, I'm just going to run a um, measurement, run my chalk line just so I have something to follow, and then do the same thing, snap the snap that piece off and then we'll go see how it fits see if we can't get it hung um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing today at least a little bit of this and hopefully over the next four to six weeks we'll have all the drywall all the drywall that I have that needs to go up there will be hung then I'll have to work on getting the the other stuff for the bathroom which is the same thickness but it's a moisture guard, so they do something different with the paper and the material. So I, I decided to do that in the bathroom. 
um, just to help against prevent mold issues and things. So, yeah, on to the next. show the audience oh. hope you can see that first sheet small sheet it's tough why it looks tough well it's just it's awkward standing up high and yeah, to do the next one which is going to be a full sheet is going to really be heavy and suck I'm gonna rig up something so we're not fighting it. But, yay, first one up. I'm gonna cut another short one to match that on the other side. And then do these two up on the top. Cause those are the, at least the first oddball guys that we need to do. And then we'll start um, with a couple full sheets. And there's another small, a couple more small ones and then full sheets again so pretty excited pretty optimistic hopefully how this goes so all right so maybe you can see we got a couple small pieces hung up there um, this bay and this bay we're gonna try to get a full size sheet or nearly full size sheet Greta, no no if Greta will cooperate here and not get in the way let it in, let it go on now Feel the change, it's what it's all about Tell me, does it all slow down? If you could just see me now You would believe We got cut off there because our memory card was full, but we did get this up, so. Pardon my few extra holes. I bet they can't even see that. I was off a little bit on my stud there, but yeah, I got uh, pretty happy with the progress so far. We're going to try to hang this one more sheet in this bay right across from this one, so I just set up everything for that. Uh, I've got two other ones cut there and there I'm just gonna throw those in the garage it's already about supper time so get this one hung and call it a day all right so this is where we ended We've got uh, hopefully the angle you can see but the two eave pieces and a full sheet in this bay and this bay uh, pretty happy with that progress next up is full sheet in these two bays and then on both sides this side and the other side this piece that kind of has the light in it and then maybe even get down to this piece here on um, all 
these four sides. So that's kind of the goal. Let's get to that. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be back with you with the next step.